morning as you can see from the suitcases behind me we are going on our next travels however they are not packed i have two hours to get them ready i have to go to work first i need to get ready for work um i don't know how i'm going to do it but fingers crossed anyway we're going down to purple for a week we're going with mark my boyfriend and my mum dad and brother and we're staying in a it's called a is it a cottage? I don't know. It's not a cottage. It's a house. It's right next to the beach. Give you a tour around it. Um, show you what we get up to down there. It's going to be mostly belly boarding and chilling in the sun. But whatever we get up to down there, we'll show you. Tell you how much things cost. Um, give you a little tour around Perrinporth. And show you that you don't need to go away to another country to have a good time on holiday. We love Perrinporth. We've been going there ever since I was a kid we play a stay at so many different places in Perrinporth and to be honest if I could live anywhere in the UK I think it would be Perrinporth so let's get ready did you guess where we was going because I don't think I could have said Perrinporth any more in those sentences but anyway I hope you enjoy this video I hope it gives you some inspiration and anyway I need to get ready so let's do that so that is my makeup done Oh, it's really close, sorry, that's a really bad angle, let me move it. Anyway, I need to go pack now, I need to get changed into my work stuff, and I will see you in the car later. Bye! <laughs> before bed i think maybe a glass of prosecco who knows but i will show you the house in the morning and it's stone house in purple i already said that see you tomorrow i'll actually show you a tour of the house at the end of the video when it's all packed up and empty but look how close we are to the beach this is amazing <laughs> lovely day relaxing chilling little walk on the beach had a really nice breakfast this morning we went for a little walk around the town got some beach shoes because a few years ago my brother stepped on some urchin thing i can't remember what it's called and got stung by it so 
ever since and we've been a little bit wary of uh, going barefoot in the water so yeah definitely make sure that we always get beach shoes so when I've got some of those um we had a little walk on the beach it's been chilling on our little balcony really it's been really nice um and tonight we plan to go and have fish and chips just show you what we do show our little family traditions and to be honest these vlogs are quite nice for us to look back on as a family and there'll be things that we don't remember that when we look back we're like oh yeah do you remember that so yeah it's kind of a little family home vlog so yeah <laughs> close off yesterday's vlog it didn't really go to plan yesterday evening uh, we were supposed to go to our little traditional fish and chip shop which we used to go in and sit in there but we turned up and there was no tables in there and it's a takeaway service only now so we decided to take our food and sit along the seafront however we were absolutely surrounded by seagulls it wasn't it was a fun experience and some kid got their chips stolen it was uh oh, there was about 100 seagulls it was horrible so i thought we'll just go back to the house and eat there we went over to the local ice cream shop everyone said a nap then watched bomb sink club we just went to bed so yeah not really sure what the plans are for today get breakfast somewhere the weather isn't too great again you can't really see that it's a little bit cloudy. I think it's like 27 degrees back in Essex and it's about 10 degrees less here today. So yeah, we'll see what the day brings and you can come with us. See you later. So we've been back chilling in the house a bit, I'll say for a bit, it's been about three hours and I think almost all that time we have been sleeping. So if you've seen our previous vlogs, you'll know we love a nap. But we are now going to go off and get some dinner. I think there's a little pub around the corner um, that does Sunday roast till eight. So yeah, let's go. <laughs>
last night we had a very nice dinner at the pub that I cannot pronounce, I'm not going to pronounce because I will completely ruin the name of it. But today we have had a takeaway breakfast from the cafe next door that we went to the other day and had a sausage bap, that was really nice. And they put some sauteed potatoes in a hash browning which was a lovely little extra. But we're now going to go to Hollywell Bay Pitch and Putt. Um, feeling a bit mm, today because I don't know what to wear. The weather again is cloudy but it's really warm so I'm just finding a little bit tricky what to wear so but yeah anyway we're gonna go and do that now and see you in a minute come with us <laughs> Got minus yards. just quickly signing off today's part of the vlog uh we've had a really nice day actually it started off a little bit cloudy and i was a little bit moody because i didn't know what to wear but um it ended with a really nice sunny day so once we came back from the pitch and putt we went down into the water me mark my dad and my brother and played with frisbee and a ball and just played around the water and had a laugh which was really nice we found some weird jellyfish we came back got ready and had a little bit of trouble finding somewhere to eat we was going to go and do the quiz at eight o'clock in the place that we had the car yesterday but all the tables were um what's the word reserved so we couldn't eat anywhere there we went to the weather spoons there wasn't any tables there and then we went to an italian restaurant that we've walked past so many times and i don't know why but we've never been in there but we decided to go in there and we all kind of seemed to like something on the menu um and it was absolutely delicious it was so nice 
I think we'll definitely be going there again at some point in the future, but and I definitely recommend it if you come here. So, yeah, that is all that we've done for today. We're hoping that the weather is going to be nice again tomorrow. Hopefully spend a bit more time on the beach. Got a little bit of colour today, as you can see. I'm kind of matching my towel. But just a reminder, wear your sun cream. Anyway, good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning. I don't know if you... <laughs> today oh, we are going belly boarding for the first time we woke up in the weather again as you can see it's a little bit cloudy but it doesn't stop us does it i wish it did <laughs> so i'm gonna take you in the water mark's gonna film and god knows what kind of footage we'll come out with Bobbing along. <laughs> Bobbing along.
we are back in throwing pulls. Unfortunately, I don't know what's going on with them over here, but that's literally it. <laughs> that's all you can see. It's like you come round. Oh, hello. You come round to the whole, the whole pair and pulf area. Oh, there's some people there. And, um, I'm getting right out of the way. And it's just misty. I don't know if it's sea mist or everywhere else that we've been to so far. It's been lovely and sunny, but here, I don't know what's going on, but if it's the same tomorrow, we're going to have to go somewhere to find some decent weather, a nice sunny beach or something, but at the moment, we've not really had any, so I'm now in my Christmas pyjamas, going to go have a glass of Prosecco, and kiss me, see you tomorrow, bye! Good morning. Uh, let's start with the weather, I think. I'll show you what we've got today. <coughs> Same again. Lovely bit of fog. Don't know why I've bothered putting on sun cream, but I'm hoping that we can go somewhere else today or that within the next hour, once we've had breakfast, the sun would have cleared up. But comparing it to yesterday... My hopes aren't high. But we're going to go for breakfast in the weather spoons again, what we had the other day. Um, and I'll actually show you that breakfast because I don't think I filmed it last time. But I'm sure you can probably guess if you've watched my previous vlogs what I like to have for my cooked breakfast. It's the same thing every single time. So and that will never change because I don't like egg, bacon, mushrooms or tomatoes. <laughs> so doesn't leave me with much. Anyway... Come along with us. My face is really shiny. It's so shiny. Well, it looks like I've got a little bit of colour anyway, even if it is red and shiny. So we have arrived finally at Kynance Cove. After a very long journey here. So much traffic. And the tide is in, so if you come here, make sure you check out the tide times. Because at the moment I don't think we can actually get down to the beach. Let you know to pay five pounds for four hours for parking it's the national trust car park so if you are part of the national trust then you can pay for it but you get the car park for free
Good evening. We've actually finally had a sunny day. It's a shame that we had to go out of Pernforth to have it. Anyway, uh, we went to Kynance Cove, um, as you would have seen, very steep down. And although there was no steps coming back up, it is was a bit of a killer on the calves. So just be aware of that if you decide to go. Uh, what did we do after that? Oh, we went to St Michael's Mount. However, that was shut, so, and also the tide was in. You can walk across it or get a boat. Um, they do boat rides across, so both times the tide was in when we got to our places. So uh, there are, you know, check online for the tide times first before you go anywhere. Otherwise, you may not be able to go, and sometimes it can take more than an hour, sometimes two hours, depending on where you're staying to drive somewhere. Um... So yeah, definitely check that out before you go. And then when we came back, what do we do? Oh, we just had a little show along the beach. Uh, watch the sunset. And just having some snacks. And going to watch Love Island before going to sleep. So, yeah, tomorrow is the last day. Hopefully, we're not going to wake up with any fog. Praying. Fingers crossed. I can't really cross my fingers. Fingers crossed. So, yeah, anyway. Good night. Today is the last full day. Let's start with the weather again. Blue sky. Thank God. So we've had some breakfast on the balcony, set up there for a little bit this morning. And now I'm going to go on the beach and make the most of this last sunny full day. Unfortunately, now packing that up to go home tomorrow morning. We've got to be out by nine o'clock. Um, yeah, we've had a very nice day today, and this is the weather we've finally been waiting for. Um, once we came back from the beach earlier, we went uh, we went and got a takeaway cream tea, and they were three pound fifty. And it comes in a little box. It's so good. Uh, sat and ate that on the balcony, and then got ready for dinner a little bit later. I had a little nap, obviously, because I love a nap. Um, went and had dinner in the pub just down the road. That was okay. Now I'm packing. See you in the morning. Bye. <laughs>
trip we are now back home i hope you've had a lovely time following this vlog along it's been really nice um to watch it back i did a little bit of editing on the way home um it only took us about six hours to get home back to essex um and my mum dad and brother left half an hour later and it took them oh i think it took them about 11 hours so that's just one thing about driving down there is the drive but and how long it can take so i'd really appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my future vlogs um the next couple of months we've got quite a few trips coming up we've got um a two night stay in lisbon and for my 30th birthday we are off on a cruise with celebrity cruises and we are going to well we're going we've got a flight to italy and then we're going from there around some of the greek islands and a stop off in turkey um so we'll take you along for that and we're flying business cars so we'll show you all of that and in september me and my brother go back to disney so yeah lots to look forward to lots coming your way so hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss them um thank you again for watching really appreciate it and i'll see you soon oh and head over to my instagram channel travel life with lucy for more content thank you and see you soon